Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're watching Battlestar Galactica. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are watching episode 17 of season 4 of Battlestar Galactica. That is five episodes left. Uh, with this kind of coming to a close, um, you know, there's there's a lot of questions that I have as to how they're going to tie this all together, how they're going to put a little bow on it, because we need to find a place to live and it needs to be sustainable. It needs to be great. It needs to be better than what they imagined Earth to be. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. They might just end it with Galactica and space crumbling to bits. I think I would absolutely cry my eyes out if that were the case. I'd be so upset to have invested myself in a journey like this, only to have it not end with a happy-ish ending. I, it's Battlestar Galactica. I don't expect this to actually be a happy ending. I expect it to wrap up, you know? Um, and I'm I'm nervous. I'm nervous because we just lost a baby. Six and Saul, which was a very weird relationship even to start with, and then getting pregnant with a pure silent baby, also kind of unexpected, but it didn't make it less sad. And especially to watch Saul go through a heartbreak of, you know, killing his wife seasons ago and then here losing a child. And, you know, as far as we know that this tie and obviously Ellen have never been pregnant and have never been in this position. So it's the first time Saul's actually suffered this loss that he can remember. I mean, you know, uh, obviously they are uh, <laughs> mother and father of the other Cylons, which is like, oh, the fact that he was in a relationship with Six and uh, that's her daddy. <laughs> but you know, watching him go through that loss and experiencing that, knowing that he wanted to name his son after his best friend, uh, you know, I, I think that not only is that beautiful, but that says something about Ty. You know, you know that he loves Ellen. You know it. And you can see that he has feelings for Six. Um, it's not... I, I wish there, if there was more building on it. So I was like, that's kind of weird that he wanted to be with somebody that reminded him of his wife during sexy time in which we never saw a baby be conceived. But okay, I'll let it slide. But, you know, uh, we know his love for Belladama. We know it. Um, so that, that really still grinds at Ellen that there's like somebody that could actually take Saul away from her. And it would be... Belladama and the Galactica. Um, but I, I do think that if Saul had all of his memories, maybe he wouldn't be that way. You know, um, I, I don't know if they've had thousands of years of having a relationship that has been, you know, vile and toxic, or if this is something that's new to them because they don't have any of their previous memories and they don't have any of that previous relationship. They just have what they have in, in this world during the time that they were, you know, uh, aware that uh, Cavill has allowed them to have this life. And I could see people that were devoted to each other for thousands of years having that kind of seep in and having that jealousy happen. Do I like it? No. Is it stupid? Yes. You know, and, and I, I say that because, you know, like he, the person you love can love somebody else and it's completely different. But like you can love multiple people at the same time and 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 there's there's a difference to it. There's it's it's not the same. The way that <laughs> the way that Saul loves Ellen is surely not the way he loves Bill. Um, but you know, I could see her having a hard time with that. Now, she was very accepting after a fight about six, you know, and even the conversation she had with six is like she's she says, like, I can have him choose and I know that I would just be tearing him apart. And like, that's really emotionally intelligent for Ellen. And, you know, I do like the Ellen that we were presented with on the base star. And even this Ellen, like she is a mix between the base star Ellen and, you know, before uh, New Caprica Ellen. You know, there is that toxicity, but there's also that that love and that nurturing Ellen, which is very weird, but like seems at home at the same time. I don't know. I, I think I think Kate Vernon does such an amazing job with Ellen Ty, especially now that I've seen such a different dynamic from her and then I've seen the mix of the two. 
It's so good. So, you know, uh, they, they voted, they voted that they want to leave Galactica. They want to go to the base star and jump away and start a new life because they can make babies. Cylons can make babies. Well, with losing Liam, we know that they might not always be viable. And I don't know why that is. I, I don't know why they could on Earth and why they can't now. I'm not sure if it's in their programming, if Cavill designed it that way. I don't know. But because, you know, Cavill like has, you know, kept things from them. And Cavill knew about the final five and, and obviously knew about Ellen and engaged in a sexual relationship with her anyways, which is uh, disgusting. Um, so... Uh, I'm I'm not sure if it's a programming issue or if it's just, in fact, the gods or God, whichever one they believe in God, right? Okay, whatever their God is deeming is what's happening. We also had uh, Chief kind of patching the Galactica. And here's my thing is like it might buy them more time. And that's fantastic. That's great. Um, but the way I always see patches, and again, this is a very personal issue to me when people come into the dental office and they're just like, well, can't you patch it? You know, their tooth falls apart and we tell them that they need a crown and they're like, just fill it. And it's like, <laughs> the only way that I can like give you guys a one-to-one -one is like Galactica needs a new beam for support, not to slap Bondo on it, Right. That's the difference that I could come up with with the two things is that you need something that is actually solid and is going to hold, not something that's most likely going to fall apart. Um, so uh, I'm I'm optimistic it's going to get us where we need to be, but I definitely don't think that it's a permanent fix. I do not think it's going to keep Galactica together. I, I do think we're going to see our girl. <sighs> I think that might be the one death of the entire show that's really, really hard to swallow. Um, you know, D's was very hard to take, but like watching something that got us from so far, you know, through all of these things and, and has done battles and has saved lives so many times, time and time again, of the fleet, of the people on Galactica, the people of New Caprica, like time and time again, Galactica has rode in on a white horse and has saved the day. And I think... Ooh, it's like watching Enterprise crash. I'm telling you, I can't. I can't. I don't know why the love of a ship is so hefty, but it is. She She's a main character. Um, so I don't know. I might be making that up and just making myself cry, but, you know, writing's on the wall, I think. We have to, like, look at the reality of the situation. Another reality of the situation that we're having is kind of Gaius and the people that he's leading and, you know, like they're starving, they want food and like his, you know, little, uh, I almost called him a giggle squad. I, I, I forget what they are. The, the nymph squad. There we go. I knew I'd think of it. Uh, you know, it, it's, it's them like with like the stockpile of food. And of course there is, I think they call them the son of Aries, which is cats, old bow, um, you know, they have guns and they take the food and, you know, Gaius goes to Admiral Adama and is like, we need to be able to protect ourselves. And I'm like, I don't like that only because it makes people trigger happy. If it's for protection and it's for intimidation and keeps people away, okay. But like a war on Galactica with bullets flying around, I don't know if that's great. She's already got thin walls as it is. So that does make me a little bit nervous. But I do like that, you know, Gaius is kind of like the leader of like the regular people now. Which, when he was president, he wasn't great at it, but, you know, he had a lot going on up here and dealing with the Cylons. Um, you know, maybe this time around it might be different as long as he stops sleeping with them all. I think we might be okay. And, I mean, he's helping repopulation. I, I think I think there might be a little Gaius running around. There might be several little Gaiuses running around. I wouldn't put it past him, <laughs> but uh, I, I, do, I do think that like he's he's become the leader of these people and that might be a good thing. Yeah. <laughs> and then obviously between all of the baby drama and uh, baby drama, the, the baby died. That's that's not really fair. But like with everything that was going on there and then the Cylons wanting to jump ship literally and 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 the the galactica falling apart and you know tie falling apart oh we also had anders who you know was was very much brain dead and at the very end of the episode it was like things were firing eyes were flickering he was back 
Um, if he woke up and, and had his memories, I think that would be great. If he wakes up and he doesn't have his memories, F. Um, because what we need these people to remember things because it's like the one way forward or, you know, I, I don't know if we want resurrection to still be a thing. I know that Ellen said that she had a colony or like, like she knew how to do, a, she's talking to Cavill and she said something about like all he, like all of her equipment is still somewhere. And so I think that that might be the place that they need to go. But I don't know if resurrection should be a thing necessarily. I think maybe because they have resurrection technology, maybe that's why they can't have babies is like, I don't know. I don't know. Nature's taking taking hold like they, they need to evolve. And it's just like, no, 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 you don't get to do that anymore. Break the computer and then you guys can have babies. I don't think that's the way things work. I'm very much a science person. So I would like like, you know, somebody to tell me what's going on in the inside of all these Cylons that makes it to where they can no longer reproduce. Um, but I, I, I am curious to uh, figure out what the hell the next step is, because it seems like, I don't know, all the time, all the time. And we have certain like episodes that are arcs. And like the last two felt like an arc together that like they were very much like the Ellen Ty returns arc. And so what happens after this? I have no clue. But guys, I'm going to get into this next episode. So let's get into it. Oh, who's playing the piano? It better not be Chief at all. Make my heart skip a beat. We've never seen them do a reveille. Oh, ah! Oh, you poor thing. You've got so much trauma. I want to know what 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 that is. What she is. As you know, the mutiny has thinned our ranks. Mm. We cannot give all you raptor jocks back cedars. Savor this alone time, but do not whack too much. We need you to conserve your O2. <laughs> well, okay. Sonia, I want to congratulate you on your election. I look forward to seeing you taking your seat in the oh. former ship's captains next week. I love that. When we convene, I intend to formally request that the eight you're holding Galacticus brig be returned to us. Boomer. We don't want Boomer set free. We want to try Boomer for treason. Oh. Sharon Valeri sided with Cavill in the Cylon Civil War, oh. which killed thousands of our comrades. Now that we're all mortal. You want to kill her? Yeah, Chief. Uh, I, I forgot about the siding with Cavill because there's so many eights roaming around and I just am like, all's forgiven. I forgot about her shooting him when she arrived. I was like, oh yeah, they probably don't really want to see her. Yeah, she probably should be tried for treason. Damn it, Boomer. <sighs> she made that choice, though. And there is nothing to indicate that he's having any kind of conscious thought. Well, maybe his brain is rebooting, reorganizing as it heals. The last maybe. thing we need is you jerking our chains with a lot of quack ideas. So why don't you take them someplace else? <laughs> what if we could link him to the data stream like our hybrids? Hmm. And how am I supposed to do that? You need to get on with your life. Oh. If there's any rough. change, you'll be the first one to know. How do you get on with your life? She's wash, rinse, repeat every single day. How do you get on with your life? She's stuck here. This is her life. Oh, for some reason, I thought she was getting another God tattoo. Damn it, you have to continue to play the same lame-ass song. Give it a rest. I'm not playing the same lame-ass song. I'm composing it. Is that what you were doing when the Cylons attacked the 12 colonies? Did your music stop one missile? Pretty cynical point of view. Yeah. Doesn't he remind you of your dad, girl? Your dad played piano, right? Needs a tune-up, I think. <laughs> Doesn't everything on Galactica? 
I wonder if she's thinking about her dad. You know, sometimes at work, I try and conjure up what your face looks like. Curve your lips, the way your hair falls, how you smell. You see my face every day. Yeah, but not like this. <laughs> Chief, pay attention. <laughs> I love you, Chief. <laughs> Steal a ship and run away with her, please. Or as one of the final five be like, I overrule everything. Uh oh. What are you doing, Hera? She's so stinking cute. Those curls. I'm dying. What you drawing? The stars? They're very good stars. They're all in a line. It took me a while, but I managed to buy, beg, and steal them back. Said something Thrace? Is that her dad's? Is, it, is, is Harry drawing a map? Not for me. She drew all those sixes before. Play it for Sam. Maybe it'll bring him back. Is it a map? Is I think Hera's like a little, like I don't know, a, a psychic or something. Chief, talk to her. So I wanted to forget you. And I hate you. I've thought about you every day since that moment I died in your arms. Chief. Me too. Make the most with the time that we have left. I mean, it's like I said, it, we could have a good thing, but it's never going to be a happy ending. Oh. Wasn't he in a relationship with Tori? Why is he? Why? Why is he here? Sorry, I thought you'd be okay with silent projection. Ah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it was too much, girl. Too much. Maybe just you guys standing in a room together, like, holding hands would have been enough. But, you know, whole life, married, all that. Mm. Rumor saved your life. You wouldn't even be here if it wasn't for her. And I will testify mm -hmm. to that at her trial, but I won't try to stop it. We have to let justice run its course. Wow. Yeah, I agree, though. And they will kill her. Sure as hell. Impregnate her, Chief. <laughs> Thanks for your input, Colonel. Just lost yeah, his job. he's... For God's sake, you leave him be. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. That's fair. I'm gonna try again, huh? Are you sure? I don't want to put you through any... Give him a taste of what it would have been like. <laughs> I want him to be happy. What? So not fair. Will he be able to let go of that vision? We nailed the first when moment. you see something like that, can you let go of it? Now, how about a second? I can't believe she's helping him write something. Why do I feel like this isn't happening? Like this process. is something going on in her head. Like, is this her dad? Is she imagining her dad? Is part of the process also stealing from other composers? That piece that you're riffing off of, it's no means there's not a second movement. Okay. Uh, 
and for somebody who hates music so much, you know an awful lot about it. Mm -hmm. My dad used to play. He taught me a few songs. I used to try so hard to get them right. Not because I was afraid he'd get angry, but because I knew he'd be so proud. It made me feel happy and sad all at the same time. It's like this show. The best ones do. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I knew it was going to be the stupid burnt up body. How is it possible that I found my body and I'm still here? Wow, she's confiding in him. I'm asking you, as a personal favor to me, don't sign that. Hmm. Chief, she has Don't do that, him. Chief. Yeah. Personal feelings are what Sharon Valeri preys upon. You know that better than any of us. <laughs> you need to clear your head. Go be a character witness for her. Let's see what's happening now. Chief, what are you gonna do? Break her out, steal a raptor, find a moon, live out your days starving to death while projecting. I don't know. I don't know what the answer is. Are you gonna switch them? Chief? What are you doing, Chief? It's a pretty deep groove on your finger. Had to have been there for a while. Ooh. She didn't leave me, I left her. Why? She wanted me to quit playing the piano. Oh yeah, but uh, yeah. You left her for that. You can't stop being yourself. I told her I might as well cut my heart out. My God, you're just like my father. You start a family, the going gets tough, you ditch him. Did you ever stop thinking about yourself long enough to consider what you did to your kid? Whoa. Personal issue there, huh? A lot of projecting happening. Prisoner's still secured. She slept right through it. You gonna stay I a think. while? Where does they're shipping her out tomorrow? No. Is that all I needed to say? I am flabbergasted. I don't want somebody else to pay for Boomer's crime. I don't fucking remember it, and even if I did, I wouldn't. That son yeah, of a did. bitch never came back. He never called. He never wrote. So you quit playing to punish him? Erase him. It's okay. <laughs> I'll play if you play. Oh. oh. She didn't like just like kill Athena, did she? Because I'm not going to be okay with that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Tastes as good as it smells. It's funny because it's the same actress. It just feels so very wrong. Okay, all right. I don't know if this is the right place for this. There are boots outside of the door. Oh, goodness. Okay, she's not dead. I would have been so mad if they killed Athena. I like don't know if I could forgive Boomer. Athena, wake up. Do something. Say something. Make some noise. I know, girl. I'm sorry. This makes me so uncomfortable. Come on, girl. Kick something. Listen, I'll, I'll play down here. I think I know. I think I know what you're doing. Now. Hang on. Hera. Holy crap. 
Huh. Hera is something, isn't she? <laughs> Guess what mommy brought you. Mmm, drink it all. Yeah, mmm, good, right? Yeah. They're gonna steal Hera? Oh, we forgot all about her physical today. Okay. They're gonna steal Hera? Oh my god. No, this can't happen. This can't happen. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Maybe it'll be pursued throughout the universe. Mistake. Oh, really? I know everyone knows the song. I don't know it. Yeah, what's going on? That's the song. Yeah. Ah. Where did you learn to play that song? I played it as a kid. My father. What are you talking about? Who did this? <laughs> During this exercise, we could have six or eight ships hitting the merge where the fight starts. So keep your head on a swivel, especially in the vertical. Captain? It was Bummer. Did you get Hera? This shit a med team here, right fracking now. Yes, sir. Cairo, get on the horn of CIC and let them know Boomer's loose. She's got my fracking kid! Yes, sir. Yeah. I know, baby. Please don't end here. <laughs> oh, please don't make, let her make it out. Boomer, this galactic actual return to checkers red and shut down. Copy. What is the president thinking? That will shut you down. I don't think you want to do that while I have Hera on board. Sir, she's spooling to jump. If she jumps inside the ship, the spatial disruption could tear Galactica's guts out. And it will. Boomer, don't be stupid! Stop! Don't do it. Don't do it! Don't do it! Don't do it! Drift! Fuck, Boomer! Boomer took her kid. What? She took Hera, just walked right out of the daycare. Yeah, Chief. Boomer did it to you again. Cavill wanted Hera. Boomer got her for him. Fuck. How can a three-year-old girl spontaneously write down that song? She's plugged into yeah. something that's manipulating all of us. Maybe she's gonna manipulate Cavill. Dryolide Face? Thrace? His name is Dryolide? It's quite the name. Yeah, Chief, you fracked up. Fucking Boomer! I'm so angry right now. 
I'm sure it's supposed to happen. But frack. That was a wild fucking episode. So different, and I'm not mad about it. Okay. Shit. So, I mean, uh, if that was the long con that Cavill had planned for Boomer this entire time, You know what? It might break Chief. Chief might not make it to the end of this series. And you know what? It would almost be a fracking mercy. I'm so irritated with Boomer. I was irritated that she was working with Cavill. I I thought we were going to get a redemption of Boomer. I was like, oh, that sucks. But like, yeah, they, they, they need to let the other Cylons take her. I understand why Chief did it. I totally do. But he got manipulated. The only thing that I am hopeful for is that because Hera is special and because she obviously like would know like the music notes from Kara's memories of her father. We'll get into that in a minute. Um, that like, you know, uh, that Hera is the key to the future of this alliance and life between humans and Cylons. She's bridging the gap. And I think that the president is connected to her because of the blood, but also like she is the dying leader, blah, blah, blah. I don't actually know if that's still even, I mean, she was the dying leader that led people to earth, but did anyone die on their way to earth? It was a leader. I don't think so. I was like, maybe it wasn't her, but like Hera is the key to a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. So I'm thinking, you know, Cavill, hmm, how he doesn't want to be a human, how he, or he doesn't want to be a Cylon, but he doesn't want to be humanoid. He wants to be a machine. And I think that Hera being a mix of both and maybe, I don't even know, talking to a hybrid, I'm not, I'm not sure, but like, if there's something that could probably, you know, Cavill is like a bratty little kid who has put his, you know, parents and creators through the fucking ringer. And, you know, he has mommy issues up the fucking wazoo. And, you know, if, if I'm not saying that like, you know, boom and, and all is solved, but like Hera might just have the touch that, that, we need because adults can't reason with him. You know, uh, humans can't reason with him. Uh, other Cylons can't reason with him. The the final five can't. So maybe it takes a Cylon human hybrid to make Cavill see the error in his ways. I don't fucking know. And I'm so mad at Boomer. And I'm so, my heart breaks for Athena. My gosh, Grace Park being able to play like multiple, multiple, multiple eights, but like Athena and Boomer. And I'm like literally feeling heartbroken for Athena and just mad as hell at Boomer. It's it's wild. It's wild. And the fact that Boomer, you know, spooled up the FTL and blew a hole in Galactica. We didn't need that. We did not need that at all. <laughs> My ship is dying and I'm not okay. Okay. Get your shit together. So, oh, you know what I'm going to look up real quick is the actor that was playing, I'm going to guess is supposed to be somebody that is, um, um, I'm pretty sure that that's supposed to represent Starbucks father. I don't know if that is exactly what he looked like, but I feel like he was on days of our lives or something. I feel like I had like this huge crush on him. Uh, what Rourke Critchlow was Rourke Critchlow in a soap opera? Days of our lives. Look, look, I have 
wonderful taste in television shows, as you can see. But like Days of Our Lives was like the Jersey Shore before the Jersey Shore. You know, like it gave you like the Kardashians before the Kardashians. It was some good shit. They're probably on the same fucking storyline that they were 20 years ago when I watched it. But Rourke Critchlow, that man had a piece of my heart. And when I saw him sitting at the piano, I was like, I know that's Rourke Critchlow, but I don't know what he was in. And I was like, I bet it's Days of Our Lives. <laughs> oh, Battlestar Galactica. These are the days of our lives. How interesting that I was saying that for seasons. Anyway. Um, almost immediately with the piano player, I got the feeling that it was a vision or that like Starbuck wasn't really having that experience with somebody, that it was something that was happening in her mind. One, because she kept seeing the burnt body and, you know, the fact that her father was a piano player and he was a composer. Um, I was just like, I'm, I'm pretty sure she's pr either projecting this or it's like, you know, she's working through some trauma in her brain. I'm not quite sure because with Starbuck, you can't say she's projecting because she's not a Cylon. And you can't say that it's 100% trauma because it was out in public, but no one else was talking to him. Like, no one told her that, like, hey, you're talking to yourself at all. So I'm not quite sure how nobody else really saw what was going on until she started playing the music. And the fact that Hera composed it to remind her... There was a lot going on there. There was a lot going on there. Uh, getting a little bit bigger piece of Starbucks childhood and, you know, having to tell somebody to quit something that they love doing and they're good at and they make money at. I get that you need to have your needs met and that you need to make enough money to survive with a child I get all of that. I understand that. But like when somebody has their heart and soul in something, like to ask them to stop doing it, you are asking them to rip out their heart and soul. And maybe they don't do it for money, but to ask them to just stop playing completely, that's unfair. Incredibly unfair. Do I think that warrants you leaving your family? No, you find a compromise. So I really do think that those are like two like big, just two different ends of a spectrum, let's say. Um, but like really like knowing how broke up Starbuck was about that, about her father leaving, is he seemed to be the good thing in her life. Um, you know, I mean, her fingers being able to play the piano and her mom smashing her fingers in the door. I don't think that that was um, by accident. I think that that was very much on purpose, either to make Starbuck not be able to play or it was a slight to Starbuck's dad. I hate that woman. I hate that woman so much. Everyone's just like, she had trauma. I don't care. You broke your child's fingers. <laughs> See, that's the thing. It's like, even though I, I don't want kids, I know that if I did, I probably would be a, a, a hellacious mama bear. I'd be a helicopter like no other. But like th that, that, that protective instinct is in there. And I'm even doing it for Starbuck as a full grown adult, having these memories of her father playing the piano. I think it's therapeutic for her. I think it also led her to play the music for Sam. I don't know if the music or if that song in particular would wake Sam up. I mean, I feel like that's a key because he used to play that. Wait, what? Sam used to play the song on guitar. And Starbucks' dad taught her that song. I still think there's like a time travel element or something that happens. Because I was like, what if what if Sam's her dad? And we don't know that. But like, that's really gross and weird. And that would be really odd. Like if he woke up from his coma and he was like, baby girl. She's like, I love you. You're my husband. And he's like, ew, gross. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Um, I know I'm, I'm, he, he was on earth, not on Caprica where she was or PyCon. No, that's where Chief and Boomer were. I'm pretty sure she's from Caprica. Anyway, that, there's just all, <laughs> see, it takes one episode to disrupt the space time continuum of my brain and I'm connecting shit that's not connecting or shouldn't be connected. Any hoozle. That's interesting that she was playing the song and all the Cylons were like, what? Um, <laughs> Uh, I do, I do think that that's the key maybe to waking Anders up, um, cause he needs to wake up and we need to hear his memories. 
Um, president's collapsed. I'm pretty sure she's getting close to death. I think um, maybe her fate might actually be linked to Galactica. Oh my gosh. What if Galactica is the dying leader? I'm just, I'm just trying to connect everything, aren't I? Anyway, I'm having a hard time with this. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see. There wasn't a whole lot with Adama and like what we got from the president, like signing the order that was very presidential and that's what needed to happen. Um, you know, I, I, they could feel sorry all they want for uh chief, but like Boomer's done some shit. She needs to pay for those crimes. The projecting that Boomer was doing with Chief, I thought was beautiful. And I was just like, it's it's kind of like when when people go out on a first date or something and they have such an amazing first date that they start imagining like this whole future with somebody. I think we're all guilty of this some way, somehow. But the thing is, is that like if you were to share that with a person, they would be like, you're freaking nuts. I'm out of here. And I think them like, her projecting and showing Chief that was like way too much for him and it scared him. And, you know, I think then it's now an image that he can't get out of his mind. He can't unsee it. And it's something then he continued to think about and continued to dwell on and he wanted more of it. And uh, what is it like from Harry Potter? Is it the mirror of Erised? The mirror that shows you that thing that you desire the most? It's kind of like that where... Once you see it, you want to keep seeing it because it makes you feel good. It gives you all those, you know, happy chemicals or synapses or whatever circuits that Chief has. <laughs> now that he's a Cylon, I'm just like, I have to differentiate the fact that he is a Cylon from a human, even though like he couldn't. He needed like a flow chart and all that. And Ty's just like, Jesus, <laughs> like, God, get it together, man. Um, but, you know, Boomer really manipulated him hard because it wasn't just a house you know, that he built plans for. It was, you know, a, a home that they made and that they had a child. And I couldn't read the name on the wall or on the like the little handprint thing. Um, it looked long and it looked not. I don't know. I don't know what the name was, but it wasn't something that I could just easily go like, ah, that says Dana or whatever. It's so funny that I said Dana instead of Deanna. Anyway, uh, I, I, I think I think that is true that she would want that. But the fact that she still went through with this plan to get Hera to Cavill, you know, it two things can be true at the same time, but at the same time, what if Chief went with her? Then where does she jump? Back with Cavill? You know, like, like she's still choosing Cavill. So not only do I have a bone to pick with Boomer, but I, you know what, if they kill her, I'm not going to be sad about it. I won't be sad about it at all. Um, I thought when she punched out Athena that she had killed her. I feel like she should have killed her to get away with it. And the fact that she didn't, her bad. Um, <laughs> sloppy. So sloppy. Boomer, you're a mess. Um, yeah, so I don't, I don't know where we go from here because uh, repairing Galactica, um, repair patch, get her through to the next mission place. I don't know. I'm, I've got four more episodes for them to wrap it up. And I think they're going to break my heart. I think they're going to take my girl from me. Oh, I can't. I can't. I can't. But guys, if you want to watch the full-length reaction to this episode, it will be available on my Patreon and up to four episodes early. Ooh, the next one. I can't say that, can I? <laughs> oh, man. But in the meantime, like, Subscribe, leave a comment down below. <laughs> Were you guys yelling at Boomer? Were you just as mad as me? It seemed like such a beautiful thing that was this beautiful picture that was being painted and then the betrayal, the betrayal. Chief, man, he just gets like shit on time and time and time again. I want to hold that man and just let him cry. Just, just cry, buddy. Just get it out. Just get it out. Let's go, let's go blow up something. Let's, let's, I don't know. Go order a pizza and eat that whole thing. Yeah, buddy, whatever you want. I'm here for you. I'm here for you. <laughs> Poor chief. Oh, I don't even know what questions to ask at this point because I just... The writing's on the wall. There's only so many ways that this can end. And um, I'm, I'm hoping for the best, but I'm expecting the worst. <laughs> See?
see if you have high and also low expectations, they'll always meet somewhere in that range. <laughs> but guys, come back here for the next episode. And in the meantime, I'll freaking see ya. <sighs>